whole Kermit the Frog drama here because, as you know, earlier this year, the the current or the then current voice of Kermit the Frog was fired and replaced. We finally have the first clip of his replacement. Dreams are how we figure out where we want to go. Life is how we get there. I'm headed this way. My mistake, it's this way. And that's the Muppet Thought of the Week. Uh, that is a segment that is on the Muppets YouTube channel. And the quiet debut of Matt Vogel as the new voice of Kermit the Frog after Steve Whitmire was fired for, I, it had a lot of different conjectures as to why, uh, but he was fired after decades on the job. He wrote that he was heartbroken about it. And this is his replacement. What do you think? Well, I'm a, I'm a lifelong Muppets fan. Mm -hmm. I, I must have watched, uh, you know, The Muppet Show and Sesame Street and uh, The Muppets Take Manhattan alone like a hundred times. Does Sesame Street puppets count as Muppets? They're all Muppets. It's all yeah. the Jim Henson canon, Is obviously. Yoda a Muppet? Uh, yeah, Yoda's what? Muppet. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, Kermit the Frog got his start on Sesame That's Street. That's one well, to think Kermit of. the Frog got his start like in Jim Henson little commercial ad things. But Kermit the Frog was on Sesame Street. Mm. He was a, a reporter, investigative reporter. Okay. If I recall correctly. Wow. My mind's just been opened. So, I, I mean, when I was a kid, I watched watched the Muppet stuff from the 90s right next to the Muppet stuff from the 70s and like then you can't tell who's doing what voice at what time. So mm -hmm. it never occurred to me that it wasn't all Jim Henson. Mm -hmm. um, but now listening to it, now I can tell the difference. He now has I a slight difference in his voice, yeah. more of a, a, a lilt, a little like slight flourish I would say. Yeah. Um, which you thought sounded more like Jim Henson, which is the right way to go? Yeah, Matt, Matt Vogel is doing 70s Jim Henson Kermit. Mm. It's a little more rubbery, a, a, a little more fanciful. Hey ho. Yeah. Uh, so I, <laughs> I, I, don't think it's a, I don't think it's a bad choice because you want Kermit to be at least consistent with mm. something. You don't want to give him an entirely new voice and just accept, <laughs> and, you know, everyone has to accept it. I don't know, it could be funny. <laughs> I'm Kermit the Frog. <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm, I'm Kermit the Frog. This is my voice now. <laughs> I was like that. <laughs> Everything's fine and normal. This is how I've always sounded. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. <laughs> I, would, I would be on board with that because I like chaos more than I like the Muppets. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. Um, but I mean, it's good that he sounds like what he's supposed to sound like, though, you know, everyone's going to need or probably have their own spin regardless of it happens or not when doing a voice because, I mean, mimicry is not easy. Voice acting looks easy, but it isn't, but it's probably wise to put your own little slight change to it. And I think Slight Steve touch. Whitmire did that too when he took over for Jim Henson in 1990. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessarily doing a different voice, but giving Kermit a different attitude and mm -hmm. having him think about and talk about things slightly differently. And and he defined Kermit for you know a generation. Yeah. And, and now maybe Matt Vogel has the chance to do that for the next generation. Interesting. Audience, what do you think of the new Kermit the Frog voice? Is it good to throw back to 1970s Jim Henson? Please let us know your thoughts below and please like and subscribe for more.